majority of us use excel or power bi to analyze some of the data but do you know using chat gpt you can also analyze your data in this video let me show you how can you use chat gpt to analyze your data where you don't need any excel or power bi knowledge if you follow my mouse i'm inside chat gpt and i'm using a custom gpt let me first show you that how can you use this particular custom gpt and then i will show you how can you enable this custom gpt and what is required to get that enabled first of all you can see it's a clean interface and here one option is there you can upload any of the file now before uploading the file let me show you what's there in that particular file i already have one data i downloaded this data from kaggle.com it's the data of ipl 2023 currently 2024 is going on so this is the last year data where ball by ball details are there that what happened during the tournament now if you're outside india and don't know what ipl is you can google it and you'll be able to understand right so now coming back to this particular data if you see we have nearly 18000 rows so it's a ball by ball details available in this particular file let me show you what are the things we can do now if i come back to chat gpt and i upload this particular file i'll just click on this particular icon and then it will ask for the data i'll go to downloads and then i'll click on ipl 2023 and then i'll open so what it will do it's now uploading this particular file in chat gpt i'll just simply ask analyze this data and i'll hit enter what it will do it will analyze the data it will show you the what are the columns are there what those are used for it will try to understand your data first so that it will show if you see currently it's analyzing and then it will come up with the required details that column by column what are the details are available there one thing to notice here some of the time it takes a bit of a time to analyze the details and sometime it throws error also so in case it throws any of the error we need to regenerate however we'll see whenever that will happen now it's giving you certain options based on this information we can analyze various aspects such as match summaries player performance win and loss statistics all those things now i'm going one level deeper now and asking analyze this file and give me insight i am not asking that what i need i am asking chat gpt the what are the data insight i can get from this particular file if i am not able to visualize something it will also help me to understand or it will also help me with the idea that what type of data analysis i can do using this file now you can see it started generating it will take bit of a time because it will give you huge amount of details step by step again it's now started analyzing that file and it will come up with certain options now so first of all it's coming up let's start by extracting the general match outcomes and then dive deeper into the teams and player performance so first of all it's analyzing win and loss record of each team including the impact of toss decisions on the match outcomes so let's see how it comes up with the first analysis and whatever uh, we can see here now we can see it gave one error in case some error comes it also tries to regenerate automatically without any manual intervention let's see now we can see it already came up with the team performance that csk 10 wins 6 losses and then all remaining teams all those details are there you can see also it came up with the impact of toss on match outcome that csk 60% win rate when winning the toss so it also can give you certain prediction down the line we'll work on that and we'll see that if it can give any of the prediction now it's giving us the option that we can explore player specific data such as top run scorer or wicket takers let's try and see that what are the prompts we can give to get certain more details from this particular data what i've done i'm asking one details give me name of top batsman based on the total runs scored in all these years in tabular format first column should have name of batsman and second column should have total runs scored let's see what it comes up with it started giving the first option that is yes shubman gill he scored 916 run in last season and and in right side also it's also coming up let's see whatever the outcome and then we can choose any of this option whichever we will be able to find more useful so it's more or less give the same thing right the same table same data this particular option have a bit more text so let me click on this 
and this is the outcome it came up with. Similarly, I can ask details for the bowlers also. Now we ask for the data for batsmen and now this is for the bowler. Now it will also come in a similar way. It will analyze the data and it will come up in the tabular format report. Let's see that how it comes up with. Now you can see it started generating. Mohammad Sami took 54 wickets in last season and all top five bowlers is also listed. So this is the way you will be able to regenerate some of the basic thing. Now let us go a little bit more deeper to understand its capabilities. Can you show me some of the charts to visualize this data set? And let's see how it comes up with. Now it's giving us options. These are the charts can be produced from this particular data set. It gave four different options. First one is top 10 run scorer second one is top 10 wicket takers third is team wins and losses and fourth one is toss impact you can see chat gpt is giving you those ideas that what are the visualization can be built from this particular data set now you can see it came up with all these details and just look at it the way it plotted the graph in case you need to do it manually in excel you need to spend some more time right However, it's giving you in the ready-made way. You can just take it from here and you'll be able to use it. And it's also giving you some of the charts in gradient color, right? So it's high class. And now if you see this particular data, it came properly. All four charts are looking good. Now, if you want a different way, maybe you want to change the color scheme of this particular third chart. Let's also ask the similar way. Can you please change bar chart color to blue and red in chart three and let's see what are the result we can get so what we are asking that currently it's in red and green we are asking red and blue that to change the particular color for this third chart and let's see how it comes up with it can it do it or no so let's see how how it comes you can see now it changed it came up with a different way however it changed the color and you can reprompt and till the time you are not satisfied you can ask it to regenerate you can ask anything maybe add a trend line also that can be done so that's the way we can continue to use this particular data set and use different prompts to get different type of results so you can see if you don't know how to maybe generate all these things using excel or power bi you can still use chat gpt to produce all those results for you so let's see that can you add a trend line in above chart so and see that if it comes up with something and now currently it's giving you the details and it's telling that typically this type of data doesn't require this trend line and uh, but still it's trying to analyze the data and adding but you can see these are the value added information in case you are doing something which is unconventional and may not be the right way to present the data you can also get certain ideas from chat gpt it will give you those details that yes uh, this particular maybe option may not be the right one you can see it added this particular trend line however it was showing that this kind of trend line may be not that common to use in this type of data set now it generated all this data and let me ask one final question here that is based on this data can you show a prediction of which team can win in next season and let's see how it comes up with earlier i tried with this data it denied to give me any of the projection however it mentioned that it can come up with some basic stuff but uh, to come up with the full prediction it required a working data model with many more other parameters using which otherwise that prediction may not be the right one you can see it's mentioning the same way only now you understood that how this particular tool works uh, let me show you something else I was earlier checking with this data and I was uh, preparing for this video. It also gave certain options there. Once I uploaded this particular file and I asked to analyze this file and give me insight, it gave me impromptu all those details without I asked for further anything. You can see all those charts it came up with on that time. and But this time I can see there is an improvement in the chart coloring. If you see earlier those charts whatever i get it was in solid color now i can see it gave me chart in gradient color so it's looking much better coming back how can you use this particular custom gpt custom gpts are part of the paid plan it's not available in the free if you are in a paid plan you will be able to see one option here in the left pane that is explore gpts once you click on that it will take you to the gpt store if you just scroll a bit you'll be able to see one option by chat gpt so 
this particular custom GPT has been developed by chat GPT only. There you'll be able to see this option data analyst. If you click on that and then you click on start chat, you will be able to use this particular custom GPT. So this is the way you can find this particular custom GPT. So hope this particular video was helpful. I recorded another video inside Microsoft Excel. Now Copilot is available. Using that also, you will be able to analyze your data if you have access to Microsoft Copilot. Check out this video to know more about it.